my name is Sophie Caffrey and I'm a final year electronic engineering student. I've been studying uh, my electronic engineering degree part-time alongside working at a defence company. When I did my first few years I studied just for one day a week and worked four days a week and in my final year I have studied three days a week and worked two days a week. Prior to starting my degree, I'd achieved a BTEC in Electrical and Electronic Engineering as part of my apprenticeship with my company. In my day job, I um, design PCBs, so it would really benefit my work to have that further understanding of electronics. That's why my company sponsored my degree. I specifically chose Bedfordshire University because they're very accommodating to part-time study, which was important because I could take one day off work and go to university, whereas other universities were a bit more spread out, and which didn't really suit me. The modules specific to this electronics engineering course were specialist enough to what I wanted to, to learn, and also had a wide range of other engineering skill sets which will be applicable in the future. The electronic engineering course offers a good balance of, of circuit design and analysis, which you need for electronic design, um, but also kind of software development, so you get a good range of skills. The facilities at Bevershire are great for engineering. They have a dedicated STEM building, which has a range of workshops and equipment, such as 3D printers and soldering irons, etc. Um, and also the library is, is really great. Completing a degree in electronic engineering opens up a wide range of opportunities for students. Um, engineering and electronics is so widely applicable to everyday life, and there's a huge skills gap in engineering. So engineers are really desirable as employers. Currently my role is a hardware technician, uh, but having the degree will mean that I can become an electronic engineer um, when I return to work. The kind of student who would enjoy this course is someone who really likes learning, because in electronics you can dive right down into the kind of almost chemistry of how components work, all the way through to the, the bigger systems approach of, of how your circuit integrates into that wider system. My favourite thing about the course is that it has provided me with the skills and knowledge to design a printed circuit board from scratch, uh, so my final year project is actually a circuit that I designed myself. If I were to describe Bedfordshire University in two words, uh, the first would be convenient. Uh, it's very commutable from my home to work uh, and to London. I would also describe it as diverse. Um, there are students from a wide range of backgrounds, so often when you're working in a group, um, you'll be working with students from a range of different cultures. Um, within the engineering faculty, there's lots of female engineering mentors and uh, lecturers, so you're surrounded by those role models every day. On the course there's a range of different assessment types, um, so there's the more practical assessments to more written kind of essay based assessments as well as exams. The engineering department has organised various trips to different companies, um, so I've been along to them and you can kind of see what the companies do and see their working environment um, and get a bit more of a picture of what, what you could do when you leave. The lecturers on my course have been really supportive and my supervisor especially has been so reassuring, so supportive throughout my final year of study um, and I really appreciate it. My advice for future electronic engineering students would be before you start your course and during your course, make sure you're brushing up on your maths and keeping those skills fresh and when, you, when you're on your course, um, don't leave everything to the last minute.